Hey mom, did you know that there's a Momxiety Club membership? When you join, you'll get access to a wonderfully supportive group of moms where you can ask whatever questions or just vent if that's what you need. There's also weekly exercise classes to give your body and mind a little boost so you are refreshed for the rest of the week. And if you can't make it live, you can get access to all the replays in the members area. If you're listening to this podcast, I'm confident that it's a fit for you. To make it accessible for everyone, it's less than $10 a month. I'm extending you this offer to join other moms like you around the world saying goodbye to their momsiety together. Just head to join.momsietyclub.com and click the Join the Momsiety Club membership. I can't wait to see you there. Welcome to the Momsiety Club podcast. I'm your host, Tori Levine, a former mental health worker with degrees in psychology and criminal justice, so I know the importance of keeping calm in a difficult situation. But when I had my kids, I found myself full of anxiety. One day, everything clicked and I made a commitment to own my anxiety so it doesn't own me. And that's why I started the Momsiety Club podcast. Each week, we'll discuss the ups, the downs, and anxieties of motherhood. So join me and let's get rid of this Momsiety together. Welcome to episode 25 of the Momsiety Club. Uh, this is the first episode of the new year of 2021. And I just wanted to pop in for a short episode for you to work on some stress and anxiety reduction to start our new year off being mindful, being aware of things that are triggering our emotions, and by moving to help reduce our anxiety. All right. Um, I want to thank you. Yes, you, for tuning in and listening. As a reminder, please make sure you subscribe or follow the podcast in your favorite podcast app. And for everyone who is already a email subscriber to the Momsiety Club, you receive that information each week in your email from me. And if you would like to get on that email list where you also have access to a lot of free resources, um, just head to join.momsietyclub.com and click on the free resources section and you'll sign up there and you'll get access to free resources and then be on the email list. So have you ever noticed that when you think of something like if you just bought a new car that you see that everywhere then all of a sudden or i know one of the things is if you when someone becomes pregnant then all they see is pregnant people around or if they're thinking about having a baby then they see all these newborns around um and in pictures and on tv and on and on well For me, what I have really been seeing all around recently is something that we talked about uh, in a previous episode, which I will link to in the show notes, but it's that little things make a big difference. I have that saying written on my, posted up on my wall, um, and it is something that I have really lived by and really started teaching about five years ago through Babies at the Bar because I was really focused on teaching moms that little things, little movements can make a big difference in how they feel um, postpartum and strengthening their core and pelvic floor. And it's something I teach when I teach my Pilates clients. It's something I uh, harp on with my husband <laughs> in his posture and different things like that. Um, and, and it also takes part in how we think because with postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety, those types of things, there's a chemical imbalance. We really can't flip that switch ourselves. We need assistance. Um, but when we're dealing with just general anxiety and overstimulation by a lot of things going on, if it's the kids yelling, the baby 
crying, the teapot going off, news on, the dogs barking, you know, any one of the myriad of different things that can be occurring in your house each and every second. Um, It's finding those little things that we can say to ourselves or remember to do that can really end up making a big difference in the end. So some of those little things that you can do are taking a deep breath by breathing in and then exhaling. And actually it's shown that if you inhale and then exhale for longer than you inhale, it helps us calm down because our exhale is linked to our parasympathetic nervous system, which calms or puts the brake on our fight or flight reaction, which is aroused and activated when we are anxious or stressed. So let's try, let's just practice that right now. We're going to take a nice inhale for three and exhale for five. One, two, three, four, five. And then again, inhale, one, two, three, and exhale for one, two, three, four, five. And when we can practice these things when we're not in a, you know, hot state where everything is going on all at once, um, that helps to train our mind, our bodies to do these things when we are in the middle of what I like to just say, we're in the middle of chaos. All right. So that's one little thing. Um, how about setting boundaries? I know it's very difficult. Sometimes the boundaries we have to set are with ourselves. Um, I know a boundary I have to set is that I need to say, um, this is my time. I know I could do all of these other things. I could clean that spot over there on the house. I could spend 30 minutes organizing. But the boundary I have to set is, set is with myself is that, you know what? This is your time. Take it and do something relaxing. Go exercise. Go lay in bed for five minutes. Go listen to a book. Go read a book. Um, take a walk on by yourself these different things. So what boundaries do you need to set with yourself? And what boundaries do you need to set with um, family, extended family, those types of things? Having that little boundary and sticking to it in the end can make that big difference in how you are better able to feel how you are better able to contribute then back to your family. One of my, I don't want to say resolutions, but a goal that I have set for myself is that I want to write down daily something I'm grateful for. And I have done that so far the first week um, of the new year. And because practicing gratitude has been studied and shown to help us be more positive because when we're focusing on positive things, that makes us better able to see positive things that are happening. Just like I said earlier with, you know, if there's, if you buy a new car and then there's, you see that car everywhere. Um, And with a negative downward spiral, which happens to me all too often, it's easy. Once one thing goes throughout the day, then it seems like the day just goes and everything is negative. So writing down something you are grateful for each day is another way to help slowly but surely change your perspective and really help you see more and more of the good things around. One of the other goals that I've set is to really read more. Um, I used to always listen to books in the car when I was driving around, but right now there's nothing really, we're, we're not leaving the house still. So I really missed that in 2020. So I uh, just started reading a book called The Joy of Movement. And it is amazing. It is talks all about how 
movement affects your brain, affects your body, and uh, I am loving it. Just dives a little bit deeper into the brain chemicals and different things that are influenced and changed through movement. So one of the small things that you can do that can make a big difference in the end is just to move a little bit. Take a 20-minute walk. Dance around if you're feeling overwhelmed. Uh, Sing a little bit. Dance and sing. Play a little game where you're moving around with your kids. In the past year, since we have been much more isolated and confined to our homes much more, even if you're working from home, if you are at home with your kids, there is a lot that we used to do movement-wise, you know, getting up, walking around our office, um, taking our kids out to activities, getting them ready, getting them to school, getting them to daycare, you know, going to the grocery store maybe more often than you do now or at all. Uh, All these things, we were moving more. So this past year, being so much more sedentary has really affected our the way our brains the the chemicals in our brains and how they react so that is another small thing that you can do to you know kind of get back to a little bit of normalcy get in a routine and boost some of those brain chemicals that really help with our happiness so obviously i'm a big proponent of movement and how that affects our mental health and using these tools to assist in being mindful and helping us with our mindset and getting through each day a little bit better than (laughs) the day before. And there are always going to be setbacks, but again, using these tools to move past those setbacks and each time have them be a little bit less of an issue than they may have been the time before. And these are all things that I work with clients on -on one-on-one as well as in the Momsiety Club. When you are ready, you can head to join.momsietyclub.com and there's information there about working one-on-one as well as information about the Momsiety Club membership. There you do get access to weekly workouts and the back catalog of past classes. And you also get access to me and other supportive moms via a private group. And since you're here listening to this podcast, I'm confident that the membership is a great fit for you. And because my goal is always to be helping others, the first month fee of any new member is donated to charity. This month, the charity is the Children's Miracle Network. You can head to join.momsietyclub.com to get information or reach out. Email me at hello at momsietyclub.com or reach out through a private message on social media if you have any questions. All right, I want to thank you again for tuning in. I'd love to hear from you and hear what some of your favorite little things are that make a big difference in your life. If you enjoy the podcast, I would be honored if you left a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. That kind of helps tell Apple that people are listening and it shares it with more people. So that way more moms are able to find the podcast. And another great way to share and help another mom is just to share this podcast with them. Lastly, Remember to subscribe and follow the Momsiety Club on social media. We are at Momsiety Club. That's M-O-M-X-I-E-T-Y Club. And if you have any topics that you would like covered, if you would like to share your story on a future episode, reach out to me, hello at momsietyclub.com. I love to hear from you. And I do personally read every single email that comes in. And 
That brings us to the close of the first episode for 2021. All right, until next time, take a deep breath, move a little bit, and we'll get rid of this mom anxiety together. The Momxiety Club podcast is not intended to take place of medical advice or therapy. If you are in crisis, call your local emergency number or the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-TALK. The Momxiety Club membership is full of a group of amazingly supportive moms and pre- and postnatal fitness tips and exercises to help you mentally and physically. The first month's fee for all new members this month is being donated to the Children's Miracle Network. When you're ready to join other mamas getting through the ups, downs, and anxieties of motherhood, head to join.momxietyclub.com to become a member 